dispute. The row has already led to two 48-hour strikes and a third is scheduled for this Thursday. This evening, rail commuters were holding out little hope. They're bracing themselves for more disruption later in the week. What's your message to both sides? Sort it. Simple as that. Get it sorted and stop messing us around. I didn't expect it to actually happen, this strike, because they had so many being called on and off, what have you. But um, fingers crossed. National Express East Anglia and the rail unions have today been meeting at ACAS in London. But the two sides remain deadlocked, with both still blaming each other for the breakdown. In a statement, National Express has asked the unions to call off any future action, saying the union's demands have so far been unrealistic, despite an improved offer. We're asking the unions to suspend the strike action. It would be a sign of good faith from the unions that they are as determined as we are to resolve this issue. But the RMT union has hit back, saying the total failure of National Express to understand the seriousness of the current dispute has left us miles apart. All this following news that the TSSA union, which represents rail bookings and office staff, is now also planning to join forces with the RMT and ASLEF. National Express has refused to speak to us on camera, but the company says that if the talks this week are unsuccessful, it will operate a skeleton service this Thursday and Friday, similar to the one it ran during the strike last week. Maria Veronese, BBC Look East, at the Norwich train station. Postal services across the region were hit again today with a walkout by 700 Royal Mail staff. After the stoppages in Peterborough last week, today it was the turn of Norfolk and Suffolk. The action will last 24 hours and involve members of the Communication Workers Union in a protest over pay and conditions. Not a lot of mail was being delivered in Bury St Edmunds this morning. Around 130 postal workers walked out at 4am in an ongoing dispute about cuts to pay and services. They want to take in the region between 1,600 hours and 1,800 hours out of the delivery unit. That's causing us great concern because that will cause a problem to quality of service and actually that will give customers a worse quality of service than they're getting there. To keep disruption to a minimum, staff here went back to work from 9 o'clock till 3.30. They'll walk out again this evening. Royal Mail says increased competition means they must adapt and modernise and the union is just against change. In a statement they said, we call on the CWU to help us secure a strong future for the business, its people and its customers, rather than repeatedly acting to undermine it. And those customers have mixed feelings about the service they get. It's a national institution, isn't it? I think it should stay, stay all the letters should have stayed with it and the government should give them more help, really. I don't think they're underpaid and I don't think they've got a real job security problem. I don't think it makes a lot of difference to us because we were out at work most of the time. But, I mean, it would be nice if it was earlier, I suppose, wouldn't it? As well as Bury St Edmunds, walkouts also took place in Stanton and Ipswich in Suffolk and Kings Lynn and Thetford in Norfolk. It's not so much what's got to be done, it's the way it's being done. No input from our colleagues in here um, and we're losing out financially. There's ways of doing things where you can share the money out and, and, uh, and do it like that. I don't see why we should have to lose out £100 a week, some people. If the issues aren't resolved, the union will ballot workers again and a national strike could take place later in the year. Louise Holmes, BBC Look East. Well, later in Look East, a